Hey guys and welcome back, this is Synatic Starcraft and today we're going to be going against Vile Striker with 84 wins and 78 losses in the Masters League and he is rank 3 with 700 something points. <sighs> so this is, I just did the, sec the cast before so it's going to be two casts in a row, or two casts in a row because uh, I did miss out on like three days or something, it's too tired. Uh, Casting takes it out of you, man. Not really, but everything else does. Casting, I enjoy doing. Alright, so uh, spawning uh, right beside each other, so our overlords are going to touch again, and I am going to get the scout into his base, but if he does choose to do a 10 pool, I won't be able to react fast enough because my overlord won't be there in time, and I will have thrown out my hatchery ready. So it doesn't matter too bad, but we are doing similar builds. Uh, both going there, 9 Overlord now, getting uh, pretty decent econ. Once we drone up, of course. 9 drones is not really too good of an econ. <laughs> so, GLHF's going around. Vile, um, don't really know about their gaming team thing. Yeah, no size on it. I know, uh, I don't know who else. Oh, Spanishi was. But, um, they are pretty well known throughout, I think. <laughs> but uh haven't really seen much of them. This is uh one of the first vile guys I've played, I think. So it looks like he is gonna go speed opener, I believe. Speed opener. Yes? Yeah he is. No fifteen hatch for him, but I am gonna fifteen hatch of course, because this is the best son. Blop. There we go. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, I do the same build every single ZVZ. Sometimes I like to go speedlings, but uh, or speed opener, but most of the times it will be this 15 hatch build. So uh, just pay attention to the production tab if you want to get the build order right. It is uh, 15 hatchery, 15 pool, 17 gas, 16 overlord, roach warren after uh, spawning pool pops, etc. Production tab is open on most of my games all the time, so uh, just copy straight from that. So it looks like he is going to go speedling, expand, or baneling all in, but uh, we'll see you later on. Pool and spawning, pool and spawning pool going up. Pool and extractor going up right now for me. Making overlord, getting ready for all these to pop, fill up my gas, and get that all rolling. He is going to make two pairs of zerglings and hopefully expand from that. If not, do some baneling all in, which is very weak to my build because I'm going to have those quick roaches out to deal with it. And uh, banelings obviously are not very cost effective against roaches. And uh, so it looks like he's going to make three pairs of zerglings and switch up into drones and a hatchery. And I will see exactly how many come in. So I see three pairs of zerglings. So ideally I want eight zerglings to deal with that, which I am making. Uh, just because I like having more zerglings than the other guy, obviously. <laughs> Especially when he has speed and I don't, so he can kind of micro around my zerglings and be uh, more annoying with it. So I have stopped zerglings, making uh, drones now. I'm gonna make three roaches after that roach one decides to come pop up. Have scouted the expansion, and this overlord again, like the last EVZ, is very important. Uh, it allows me to see, in this case, not last game, but this case, I get to see when he gets gets his two gases. If I see these two quick gases, I can assume he's going mutas. And uh, if I see that he is making drones from his expansion, that he's going to drone up. And uh, if speedlings come out, then he's going to go for a speedling bailing all in. Or a speedling pressure. So, overlords, very important in this matchup. Make sure they're spread out and uh, some are useful. After the first, like, maybe six, five overlords, you can stop caring. But those first overlords are really crucial. So, I do have my three roaches now droning up before I do my little pressure because uh, every single game I feel like I need to do some kind of pressure to punish them even if they're uh, if they're doing droning up too hard and if they have def defenses ready for I can always back up and that will uh, uh, help me defend when they attack because I'll have an army and uh, feel safer to drone once they have a uh, static defense set up and static defense obviously can't I mean technically spine crawlers could walk up into uh, and plant into my base but Obviously not very likely. He has an overload over here to see how much drones I have, so that's pretty good as well. Uh, seeing how well my drone saturation is, and uh, he, he could spot for the gas and uh, what my larvae is producing, but uh, does he 
it's not quite in position right now, but you can always just move a couple inches and see it. Second queen coming up for me, making a lot of drones. And uh, he is ahead by three drones. Because, uh, not sure why. I have five on the way, but we're pretty even generally. 28 to 30, yeah. Just when the larvae injects pop up, so we are pretty even in general. Two spines coming up. Uh, I think I missed it, but my overlord did spot that he was going drone, so uh, I did decide to drone up myself, not going uh, my roach aggression yet. And it looks like I'm about to, right now, when my gas is uh, pretty high, I can just make a round of roaches. Eight roaches on the way. I'm going to make around ten, use it, using up all this gas before I rally speedlings and transition back into drones. Two spine crawlers on the way right now. Layer and the second gas on him, so I uh, don't think he's going to beat us this game. And uh, I obviously don't have four gases either. So I probably am not going to go meet us. Making uh, a ton of roaches. I'm going to rally in speedlings pretty quick here. Using up all my resources. And uh, let's see if he can scout this. Looks like he's sending an overlord right now to see what I'm up to. with uh, Moving that in. Hasn't really seen my army or my gases yet. So he's... Not too prepared, but uh, throwing down another spine crawler, and he will see the roaches move out now. Uh, and his reaction will be to make attacking units, which in this case are speedlings, making two more spine crawlers just for a more defense. A baneling, always good to have a couple banelings. Why? Because although I'm going roaches, I do have a portion of speedlings that could be hit by a baneling and do quite a lot of damage, but. Uh, I will target the banelings down with my roaches so those won't be too big a problem. Moving out with my speedlings later to join up with my roaches because uh, I want my zerglings to uh, prepare for any counterattacks that he might do with his speedlings to wipe out my drones and kill my economy. So seeing that he does have quite a bit of spines, I'm not... I'm, I decided to attack into it but it might not have been the smartest idea but I felt like at the time that attacking into this would have been fine. He does have tons of banelings though, and all these spines are going to come up, forcing me to go back for zerglings in the main, but uh, this attack is going to be denied. Switching back straight up into drones after uh, these rallying zerglings come up, getting my layer up now and my second gas, as well as an Eva chamber to get ready for Mutas if he does choose to go that route. But, uh, ooh, it looks like he is going to go Spire. So not the earliest four gases, but he does decide to go sp aspire, placing it in a kind of weird position. But uh, it's up to you, no big deal. Getting both my gases now, as well as my Evo chamber. He's making a lot of drones, 34 drones to 44. So that attack did cost me. Uh, well, let's hope I can catch up from there. Making six drones right now, so we are gonna catch up on the harvesters pretty fast here. In if you go straight drone production, it's not hard to quickly uh, just make a ton of roaches. So I haven't seen that spire yet, but I have seen the two gases. And uh, seeing that he didn't have any roaches yet, and he didn't have too many banes, I did suspect that he's going roaches. I mean, uh, not roaches, a spire. So I am going to prepare these two spores, as well as a hydra's cavern, to uh, prepare myself for this muta attack that's going to come in uh, pretty soon here. Making overseer, it looks like. So an overseer is making over here, and he's going to scout exactly what I'm trying to do here. Speedling is just trying to deny a third, it looks like. But he does have a baneling ready to uh, explode into my zerglings here. So I'm probably going to have to back up there if I'm fast enough. And uh, I do manage to get my zerglings out of there. Coming up here, doing a little bit of scouting. No roach army to be seen. So he must be doing something with his gas other than like these five banelings. So it has to be Mutas, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go Mutas after that scout. So making six Hydras, Roach Speed uh, plus one, and I should be getting Hydra range pretty soon, getting my third as well, killing that Zergling. And uh, he's going to get his third as well, so this is going to be a pretty macro game unless he, pretty long macro game unless he uh, just straight up kills me with Mutas, which probably won't happen because I already have like ten Hydras out, so... <coughs> Static defense up, uh, queens and hydras are up, so uh, he can be annoying with them, but he can't kill me with this, definitely. So, uh, yeah, creep spread for us is pretty crappy, <laughs> but it's ZBZ, so 
doesn't really matter too much. I mean, if you're being really aggressive and you're the guy pushing into them, of course you want the creep highway. But if you're defensive, then you don't want the creep highway. So the so it's kind of like a win lose situation. It depends when you want the creep to be there. So creep spread not important. Don't focus too much on the creep spread. It's always good because it gives you vision, obviously. But don't focus on it too hard. Making a large roach hydro force for me. And he is switched up into infestation pits, so he's going to have infestors out as well as burrow, so burrow infestors are really annoying. Got his third pretty much saturated now. My third is just about to come up, so I should make drones for that pretty soon here. My supply is significantly ahead right now. Uh, roaches are fat, obviously, and take up a lot of supply. Just throwing off the muta harass right now. Yes, I think I missed some of the muta harass, <coughs> but uh, he was doing that. Just using his mutas as a good scout, scouting lots of places, making three spines here, so just to block my roaches a bit, making a lot of banelings, and it looks like uh, those banelings are going to be from my hydras. No baneling speed yet, but I'm going to come in here, see that these spines are here, uh, but my roach army force does look, my roach hydra force does look pretty strong right now, though, so uh, he is going to have to be careful. And make sure his banelings hits my uh, hydras. This looks like almost GG to an effect. But uh, these hydras are not very well split. So uh, he is going to ram them straight into my hydras. And the creep is helping me a bit. But hydras are just slow. So uh, he does end up killing a lot of my hydras. And these mutas are going to clean stuff up. So I'm going to have to go back with this attack. <coughs> that wasn't the best attack obviously from me. But... You gotta split your hydras just like you split marines, and I guess I didn't have too much experience with that, so I did kind of screw up on my hydra split. I mean, I tried to kite it, but I mean, banelings on creep versus hydras on creep, they basically moved the same speed. I couldn't really run away. I had to split them up, but I wasn't fast enough to do that. I think I tried, but it didn't happen, so my bad. Getting my fourth base now, and that is gonna get denied by these mutas if he does decide to scout it. Yeah, he does scout it now, sending in speedlings here to attack my drone line as well, so that's going to be really annoying. But my roach hydras are going to come up here and uh, send these beaters back. Making a lot of banelings here, actually, and I didn't even notice that uh, he made those, so those could do some serious damage to my drones here. Getting his fourth as well, so uh, this is turning into a pretty long game. Getting hive tech for uh, Vile Striker here, so... Overlord does see the space. It's pretty good saturation. Just making lots of roaches, keeping up with upgrades. And uh want to make the second Evo Chamber for more upgrades. Two spore crawlers here. He's going to deflect the Muta Harass. Uh, just making lots of roach hydras. Oh god, I knew I was going to miss that. Let's go back and see my drones blow up. 69 drones, and we have uh, 7 banelings on the way to uh, attack my drones, so this could be bad. I did transfer 6 drones to mine the gases, so that helped a little bit, and I did kill like 3 or 4 banelings. But uh, 61 drones went down to... Wait, I don't know. He killed like, I don't know, 8 or something. 8 drones or so. Maybe a bit more, actually, but I don't know why the harvesters thing didn't update, but I'm re-droning with, oh my god, a ton 11 drones on the way, making now I have more drones than him. Uh, upgrades coming up for him as well. Let's see how the upgrades are. It's 1 to 0 for him and 2 to 0 for me. So I'm ahead in the upgrades, and I do have double upgrades now, not starting. Uh, but I am only able to use one of the Eva chambers because I have plus 2, not 1 1. And I will need Hive Tech for further upgrades. He's going to get Infestors right now, though, and Infestors against Roach Hydra is pretty good. I mean, getting three Fungals off is lots of damage against a nice Roach Hydra ball. So the Infestors are going to be really useful for him, and my mouth is really dry right now. Two Overseers for some reason, but uh, looks like I'm going to try to attack in here, make an Infestation Pit. I mean, I'm basically maxed out, might as well try to do something with this army kills infestors before he gets a lot of roaches to uh, block those infestors. One fungal going down, hitting around six or seven roaches and hydras. Those look like they're just going to die and I'm uh, just going to wait for my rallied maxed army to come and hopefully throw it in there and transition into infestors at the same time getting a fifth base right now. And these vitas are just useless in this part of the game. I mean, they just don't really do anything anymore. 
Uh, this army does look pretty small for him. I mean, I do have more harvesters, but uh, my army does look significantly better. So I'm going to attack straight into here and hopefully just kill a lot of stuff while rallying a ton of units so uh, his fungals won't be able to be, be as effective as they are. Uh, just A clicking straight into this, making my rally point straight into his base. He is making banes with nice fungals, fungling a lot of things, but these hydras in the back are doing so much DPS with plus two, and they're just, just killing all the roaches. I mean, I have just enough roaches to tank his roaches. And uh, it looks like he is going to clean this up with uh, nice fungals and banelings killing uh, a lot of my hydras and uh, these rallying roaches making like 25 roaches. That is so many production, so much, <laughs> so much production. Pathogen glands on the way, 20 roaches on the way. Uh, I don't want them to die one by one, so I am going to regroup them before I go for another push. Should be making some infestors pretty soon, uh, but my gas is pretty low right now in this base. Doesn't have his gases up, making a couple corruptors for him, and I'm just going to max out on tons of roaches right now. 2-1 upgrades for me, uh, 2-0 upgrades for him, so our upgrades are pretty similar. Whoa, burrowing zerglings here, so that, those are going to be annoying and kill drones pretty soon here. Roach is coming in here, trying to do a little damage. Nice fungal again, fungling a lot of the units right now, but uh, my roach count is superior to him, and now my roaches are getting in a nice concave, so they won't be fungled as bad. And uh, just rallying so many roaches, here they are. And uh, looks like he tried to transition into broodlords, but these might be a bit too late because my roach army is so big. Although he has these infestors that can fungal growth my uh, infest er, roaches, he doesn't have the roach count to support those infestors right now and at this point of the game I feel like I can just rally in roaches and win of course I'm gonna have to uh, make something to deal with these broodlords so at the time the only anti-air I have uh, possession of right now is just uh, hydralis so I'm gonna make five hydralis he only has two rulers uh, two broodlords so it's not gonna do too much damage to my roaches right now just gonna try to take out as much bases and as much econ as I can right now Transitioning into this fire to make corruptors later on to deal with the brood lords and any more corruptors that come out. Killing these hatcheries, burrowing his drones pretty s really smart actually, keeping a lot of drones alive. And if he is able to kill his roach ball, it might be really annoying for me, as he won't need to re drone because his drones are alive already. Not noticing that he droned, he's saving actually a lot of drones right now by uh, burrowing them. I didn't even notice that they were burrowed. I thought I killed them all in the game. I think. Uh, the spire is almost complete, so once, even if this roach army dies, I killed so much of his econ. Well, at least I thought I did. I thought I killed all his drones here, here, and his two hatcheries. So I thought he would just not come back from this. And uh, even his queen burrowed, it looks like. So these broodlords are going to eventually clean up my roaches, but I have 14 corruptors on the way to deal with the broodlords and uh, corruptors that he has while rallying. 58 zerglings, so much remaxing so fast with uh, my massive bank. 71 drones gives you a pretty strong econ. Uh, I'm making roaches now, so this next attack should be the killing blow. Even though he did save all his drones, he does need to get up both hatcheries again and make uh, an army, which uh, his army right now consists of three broodlords, a couple investors, banelings, and I mean, ling roach pretty much, while mine's is. Uh, better let's just say my supply is ahead by 80 I have my hive tech uh, I can transition to broodlords myself if I decided to but uh, I feel like this push is gonna end it so I'm just gonna send in these zerglings roach hydras and crop through the deal with the broodlords to finish this game off and these lings are doing so much damage Infestors can't really fungal the zerglings and the zerglings are acting as barriers so uh, after seeing all those corruptors and all these roaches rallying a ton more roaches, he does decide to GG as there's no way of coming back from this. And uh, I feel really tired after casting that. Oh my god. So uh, I hope you have a good day and uh, I'll see you guys next time.